I found your board chain and you know remember back in the day you're really riding little boards like littler than everybody else well here it is it's pretty small I don't know how you did it but you're shredding all right hey what a great job we did look yeah <laughs> Woo look we got rid of all of oh no we didn't not yet <laughs> Oh, nice board. I think this has changed our board. I'll really hand off to him. So when, with that board, so Shane got helicoptered in. There was only the semis left in the in the Coke to ascend. Sort of back in the, like, late 70s. And Shane won the comp, beat Larry. Larry was bragging that he had the comp in the bag. And Shane was, like, all cosmic, and but still on good boards. So, but he came in and just went, oh, I don't know, Shane was a little bit doubtful. He was a little bit missed out fire. And um, anyway, he won it. So that, that board is actually historic. It's got some heritage and... We totally got smacked when he sees he'll, he'll dig it up. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, for me, like when my boys come back, I'm so stoked. Wow. Yeah. This little piece I'll tell you something there. about this. This little piece is, it's, this is how I knew, I know this is mine. Yeah. Because that, that's, that's not the tail. tail. Okay, well that's been redone. Because the tail wasn't exactly like that. Right? It wasn't, as you can see, he's add, they've added on to the tail. But I'll tell you something about this board. Oops. Is, I got a, like a, just something that was straight. And I took this edge off. The edge was used to come up to here. And I took it right off here. Right along, all here. I just kept taking it off. And it was like a, it was just a, it wasn't even a piece of sandpaper. It was a straight edge of metal. And I just scratched the edge off it to get the edge off. And this is definitely one of my boards. I don't know if it's the one I won bells on. Yeah. I think it's the one I surfed in the cocoa. Oh, that not one bells actually. That's what Case was saying is the one that you guys got in the helicopter. You guys went down there because yeah. it was flat, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that one. Oh, it wasn't that one. No, nah, it's not. It's close though. It's in that quiver sort of thing. But you know what? It, it you know could... there's guys today that, that'll restore this thing like. Back to. Yeah, yeah, we'll take. No. Yeah, well, it sort of looks to me like he's recolored it here. Yeah, yeah. So he's re, re, restored This one it. looks original, though. Yeah. That's underneath the glass. Yeah, that you know, looks you, original. Your fin was glassed in. Yeah. Wow. Before fin boxes. So it looks to me like it's like one of my boards from like 76. 75, 76. How did he get it? Who was it? Uh, his name's Aiden. I don't know how he got it. Um, and what, he just out. wanted to return it. Well, he just had it. We were helping him today. They, they got flooded. They're in Fingal and their whole, everything got flooded. And we just helped him do his stuff today. And that thing was sitting there and it was, and he goes, I want to, he goes, hey. Uh, I go, oh yeah, Shane's my, you know, his best friend lives across the street. I'm in touch with him. He's like, give it to me. You see the fin, the fino's, fins of Reno. I used to love Reno stuff. BK, there was BK and Reno was at our factory. And I used to love all the Reno stuff. It was just a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. BK's were as a bigger fin because he had a real drivey bottom turn. Wow. It's like when I was 16. I reckon I, I won an Australian title on this board. That's I, what I think it is. You know, there's it's the Australian title board. Oh, yeah. 1976, mate. 1975. 76 is when I learned to serve. Hi, buddy. Uh, yeah, hi, buddy. And I rode two boards in the Australian titles, and this is one of them. The um, there's that photo of you in uh, I think it's Bells. You got a, a white and yeah. yellow and red yeah. gusseted rip coral, and you're doing this. You're doing this like snap, and you're like in this position right here. Yeah. And then there's a huge fan, and I, I like, man, I was like, man, I love that's my that guy's my hero. <laughs> I love that. I love that photo so much. Yeah. What am I gonna do? How will I? I'll, I'll leave it here and look at it. it, it did, does he know about it? He knows about it. Look at it. How's this? <laughs> oh, no, yeah.
How's this one? It's fantastic. You brought it you to know the board. Isn't it amazing? Like, I've got to say this. So I've, I've got, with some boards, right? This has happened before, where guys have flown them back to me. But it's amazing how it can just, they just come back to you. You know how sometimes if something's meant to come back, it's like your horse that got away. Yeah. And you, and it, around the back side to come back. That's absolutely amazing. That's it's for you. It's a sword. Oh. So I'm going before he changes his mind. Recovering and getting this board back to Shane was amazing. And one of the many silver linings of all the flood relief effort by the community. Thanks, Hayden, for taking care of this board all these years and flowing it back to Shane. Like many kids, I love Shane and his surfing as a grom. He was my hero. I have a fond memory of surfing swamis at 13 in 1979, where I pretended to be him on one wave and then MR on the next wave in an imaginary competition. I studied everything about Shane. He was a huge inspiration and a big reason why I chose to devote myself to becoming a professional surfer. Thank you, Shane, for your amazing contribution to surfing, and thanks for being such a good friend.